Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an H-E-B grocery haul. Now, H-E-B is a local grocery store, so if you're not in Texas, you may not know what it is, but most of the items, everything except for one thing, can probably be found at your local grocery store too. But we are keeping it super simple today because we're also shopping my fridge and my pantry. All right, so let's just move through this grocery haul really quickly. First, I've got some mini Coke Zeros. I love Love Coke Zeros. Mini is just better for me. I have uh, glucose tablets because I am a type one diabetic. We have mandarin oranges um, for a recipe that I want to make. Some Dijon mustard, some celery. I had, so these are like Baby Bells. Um, actually, that's even the brand, Baby Bell, but I've never seen these, these before. It's white cheddar. I love the Baby Bell mozzarellas, but I love cheddar even more, so I think I'm really gonna like these. Got some fresh greased orange juice also for this recipe. Just some generic, not generic actually, it's brand name, but um, what am I trying to say? Just the basic stuff. Uh, Glad press and seal saran wrap and some more Ziploc bags. For dinner tonight, because Jared's out of town, I'm gonna have mushroom and tofu bagolgi, because that sounds absolutely delicious. We've got some stuff for salads, baby spinach, and some mixed greens. I've got some canned uh, black beans. Then I've got, um, these are lentil chips. Now I've had lentil chips. I had jalapeno and they were delicious. This is dill and sour cream. I'm trying to find like, crunchy things that are like basically potato chips that are gonna be healthier for me because I am, I just have a hankering for potato chips lately. Needed some croutons, got some Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds, trying to be a bit healthy. Got sugar snacks, which this is what is going with my uh, orange, I'm gonna saute these in the orange juice and some other spices and things. And then the one thing that you might not be able to get at your local grocery store is lemon poppy cake ice cream by Swoon. Well, it's Swoon is the brand by H-E-B. Now, H-E-B is my local grocery store, so if you're not in Texas, you probably won't be able to get this. But I encourage you to find a fun flavor and put that in your weekly groceries this week. Now, you might be saying to yourself, okay, Lindsay, you bought five things at the grocery store, good for you, this is a cool video, but let me tell you, when I go through all the stuff that I currently have in my fridge, pantry, and freezer, we got a full week of meals planned. So look at this. We've got half a box of spaghetti squash left, so I'm going to do spaghetti uh, with spaghetti sauce, duh, and, we're gonna add in some mini meatballs. Now these I think are technically for kids, but like they're delicious, Jared and I love them. So we're gonna have spaghetti meatballs one night. Then we've got Texas citrus and pepper marinated chicken breast. Does that not sound amazing? So I'm gonna do this with the um, orange uh, sauteed sugar snap peas. And then I will add some brown rice and that's yet another meal. Then we've got some veggie burgers. So we're gonna have a hamburger night, which I'm going to make a mustardy uh, potato salad to go along with it. And we'll add in some celeries. Then I've got um, some leftover like roasting vegetables that I just need to eat up because they're, they're technically like winter vegetables. Um, and I, they definitely would not still be good frozen next year. So I'm gonna eat those now. That's probably gonna be a side dish. I don't know what else I'm gonna eat with it, but we'll find something. I've got some onions and shallots for various uh, flavors throughout, or maybe something with rice and beans. I've got some more chicken. Um, do I have chicken? I have shrimp. I have shrimp and I have frozen um, beef, like ground beef and ground turkey. We'll figure something out. So my point of this video is to show you you can buy just little things at the grocery store if you've got a well-stocked fridge and pantry. If you don't, then you might have to buy more groceries, duh. But don't forget to check your fridge, freezer, and pantry for things that you could just add a couple of ingredients to and make a really great meal. That's it for today's video, super short and sweet. Hope you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I will see you next time. Bye.